Sounds like damn lasers from Star Wars, man. Listen to this shit. going on everybody it's your boy the slab train and welcome back guys a set of course so we have not been in this for a long long time now i gotta say man we have a brand new sp mod that just got dropped march 26th 2015 now i just noticed this man i just seen this i was cruising around on the facebook page and noticed some other people were using the mod i was pretty hyped because i've never seen this thing in the works and I picked it up, man. It's free. I'll leave a link to this mod. And this was actually made by Chris and Paul from ACDC. And it's been in the works for a very long time. And includes this huge list of cars with many variations of each. End quote from their site. So instead of listing them off, I'm going to just show you guys as a grid. We're going to play with some of the cars today. Slide them around. See what I think of them. Just take them on some of the tracks. And just overall get a first impressions for this SP mod. There's a lot of cars to dive into, man. We got anything from the GT86, the 180SX, the Lancer Evolutions, we got the Saturn Sky, 370s for days, we got FCs, we got damn, oh my god, we got a lot of damn things right now, man. I believe that we have an FD. Where's the FD? Oh no, FC. Did we get an FD? I thought we did. I thought we did get that FD. Maybe I'm wrong, or maybe I'm just blind, man. I'm not 100% sure on that. But, nonetheless, though, we got a lot of damn cars, man. We got the Toyota Alteza. We got uh, Team Orange Lancer. We also got the FC with also variations to each. So, for an example right now, if we go ahead and we click on this FC, we have a lot of different engine modifications here. We have the original 13B. We have the 20B. And then we move up to the big boys, man. The LS3 and the SR20. So there's a lot of different variations to these motors. So I'm pretty damn hyped to test these out. I mean, in order to do all of these cars, it would just take forever, man. So I figured we'd pick out the best of the best for today of my personal want list to drive. So starting us off, you know what? I'm down for that rotary right now, man. I'm down for that rotary, that 13B life. We're not even gonna upgrade this thing. We're gonna keep it the way it sits. And what paint do I wanna go? Maybe a little pink? Oh, I don't know about that, man. Let's go with the Lee Missile. I don't know. What, ladies and gentlemen, listen to the rotary life. Oh my God. I am honestly shocked that that sounds that damn nice, man. Oh my god. We're going to bring down this force feedback a little bit. Maybe a 70, 65, I think sounds good. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about all of the setups. I'm just going to kind of give one tune on it, see how I think. Junkyard tires? What the hell is that, man? Oh my god. Camber, we got a lot of damn camber on this thing. We're not going to worry about that. Uh, diff power. Let's move this diff power up, actually. Um, suspension, and yeah, that should be good. So let's give this thing a test drive right now. And this is just, oh my god, this is beautiful, man. Oh, man. Sounds like damn lasers from Star Wars, man. Listen to this shit. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take this thing out for a spin right now. Look at this paint job, though. Like, it looks like there has been some serious man hours put into this mod. And I'm pretty hyped right now, ladies and gentlemen. We got the E-Brake mod on deck. Oh! Physics feel very nice. Pretty much as any other car would in this game. Oh, shit! We got it, we got it, don't worry. Bang out those RPMs! No! No! Shit! Hashtag ain't care, man. You know what I'm saying? That's how we get this thing done. I gotta say, I'm very impressed with the sounds for this car right now. I really am. Bring this in. Mod 
to this if we can. Banging third gear off that damn limiter. Oh, there's a Star Wars coming back. Finish it off strong. Look at that, man. Oh, I'm in love with this thing right now, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit. All right, we're going to just finish this off right here. We're going to do one high speed. And that is it for this car, man. We got to move on to the next one. As damn Jay-Z would say, you know what I'm saying? I can't really see very much with this field of view. We're going to rip it anyways. Holy Jesus. Okay. It's not what I wanted to do at all. It's very tough to see. Ooh, man, I could drive this thing literally all day, ladies and gentlemen. All day. We even got the horn. And just, oh, man, that idol. That idol is just, oh. You know what I'm saying, man? I got goosebumps on this shit. Damn. All right, I gotta stop this. That was nice, ladies and gentlemen. So if you guys missed it, 300 horsepower on that 13B, and that FC was just, oh man, it was beastly right now. If you guys have played with any of these cars, let me know your favorite in the bottom, man. Let me know definitely for sure on that. Now, where'd that 86 go? I seen it. I seen it, man. Where'd it go? Oh, we got Dayoshihara's 240 or S13. Oh man. All right. All right, all right. Before I get ahead of myself right now, because I'm going to just be bouncing around with all these cars, where is that 8.6, man? I seen it, but I don't know where. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay. So, why is my damn... Why do I have no damn picture? Oh, okay, okay. All right. So, we have the original 113, or sorry, 138 horsepower, and then we have a drift spec where there's no preview available, but it looks to me like it's going to be... Um, the same power. It's just going to be a drift spec car. So what we're going to do, we're going to change up tracks as well too. I don't want to do the same track every damn race. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go over to some good old Suzuka circuit right now, ladies and gentlemen. I know the 8.6 would have been mint for Suba, but we got to change it up, ladies and gentlemen. In the Toyota 8.6 right now, drift spec ready, man. Look at this thing just really quickly and just, oh my God, take it all in, ladies and gentlemen. This thing is looking like it's battle ready. This thing, oh my god. I just want to drive it. That's all I want to do right now. Um, semi slicks. I don't know if I'm feeling the semi slicks. We're going to go to the street 90s. That's usually what everybody runs online. Uh, we have no suspension adjustment for the drift setup. So maybe this is its own setup itself. I don't know, man. I don't know. Holy. Oh my god. Take it easy, my man. Have fun holding that stop sign. All right, we're out of here. This thing definitely does not have damn well 130 horsepower. Uh, come on. This thing's a little bitch, man, but it holds like a damn big bitch. You know what I'm saying? Force feedback can definitely be turned down just a couple notches on this puppy right now. Look at this, man. Woo! All right. Before I get too damn crazy and just keep going and going, because that's what I felt like I wanted to do, we're going to lower this down to about 50. I think that's going to be mint for this. Uh, tires, we are going to bump up the tire pressure as well to about 37. Um, I just want to be able to get the rear tires spinning a little bit more i know we had spin i i mean that's not even a question but i would really like oh engine limiter what is that no man we want that damn high right now ladies and gentlemen there we go oh she screams now man That's what I want right there, baby. Let's go. All right, here we go, guys. No e-brake necessary. Just powered out right there. That was dope. Oh, 
Watch it. Hold it. Come on, baby. No. I wanted to keep that. I really did. Wow. Time to run the downhill, baby. Here we go. Come on. Oh. oh, man. This thing is tough to see in this cockpit, dude. I'm not going to lie to you. But I will say, though, first impressions, this thing is dialed in, man. Suspension feels amazing we just had third gear on the rev bang right there man that was dope and it sounded nice too man this thing absolutely just screams when it gets up to there it's a big damn little car man if that makes any sense to you this thing has the power of something fierce coming out of the smallest little damn chassis you can think of right now. God damn, this is nice, man. Oh. Here we go. Oh, that oversteer life, though. Okay. It's got to be those front tires. We don't have time to tune this bitch right now, man. We got to move on to the next one for this. And ladies and gentlemen, please let me know in the bottom what car you would like me to actually do a drifting episode on and start tuning that, because I would love to know. We're going to just spin this out one more time, put it in the dirt, and that's a done deal, man. That's how you finish that right there, ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen we are moving on to the third car of this evening, Dai Yoshihara's S13. You knew it had to be coming, man. You had to have known on this thing. And I'm pretty damn excited to drive this. 630 horsepower. We're going to be taking this to Silverstone National. This V8 is just going to be screaming right now. Woo! Here we go, baby. We are on Silverstone National right now. I'm about to throw down. This V8 is just about to scream. Oh my god, she's got some damn power though. Woo! Here we go. I'm just gonna cruise it over to our section that we run all the time on Forza. You guys know what I'm talking about. we go with that high speed now just so I can see what the hell is going on we're gonna do this in third person ladies and gentlemen oh shit no good can I get a rewind maybe ready to shred some rubber on this thing I just wish that we can tandem right now man that's all that I wish here we go we're going backwards man I know this I don't have to tell me this shit Suspension is very loose on this thing. Oh, that wheel lock, though. Unbelievable here on this thing right now, man. I don't, don't want to hit it. But I will tell you what, though. I want this thing to compete, man. I want this thing to be nice. So what we're going to do, why is this thing so high right now, man? Slam this bitch. There you go. This thing's going to get dropped. Probably going to be scraping. I don't know if that's going to happen. We're going to lower this diff power just a little bit. Uh, camber in the front, actually. I'm going to lower as well, too, to about a negative one. And then our rears, we only have negative eight. So I do want to cut the traction on the tires. I mean, I feel like we just have too much rubber hitting the pavement. And in turn, that's causing it just to grip and just go bananas. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to also lower this toe a little bit to 17. 
And we're gonna yeah, let's go with the street tires, man. Let's go with the street tires on this, and let's see if this goes any better. Here we go. Oh, she's almost stalling in third gear now. Woo! Here we go, baby. What the hell is this? I can see the motor, but I can, I'm also in the window. How does that work? Can I change that? Oh, that's a negative. We are in the window. I can't believe it, man. Look at that BCB8 underneath it there, though. That's insane, man. Come on, baby. I thought I was playing fours and I hit my handbrake on the wheel. Oh, my God. There she goes. Simple as that. I feel like the lowered suspension is definitely giving me a lot more control of the car. You know, it's not all over the place. It feels very responsive now. It just feels overall more of a more stable car now. I mean, obviously that's what's gonna happen when you lower the car, but uh, I just don't know why it was jacked up to 15 to start us off. You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't, I don't know. Here we go though. I love that digital dash. All kinds of beautiful right now. Oh, look at that oversteer, man. Okay. One last time, man. One last time, ladies and gentlemen. We are bringing down this tow quite a bit. I'm not happy with the amount of tow that we have on this thing. It just, it just feels too unstable for my liking. We're gonna flip it right around, right here. Right in the pits. That motor pretty much stalled on me right there. God damn! Still have a little bit, and I think the tow can be adjusted just ever so slightly more. But again, that's just my driving. You guys may have a completely different tune on this thing, but this thing is very hard to get right. One more run with this bad boy. Let's go. Let's make Dayushihara proud, man. I just don't want to get off the throttle, though, man. It's too fun, this thing. e-brake initiating and that's the problem right now I feel like I don't need the e-brake initiate with this thing I can literally just turn in and she'll slide out just like that maybe I do need the semi slicks look at that angle lock oh my god we can't hold it Cannot do it right now. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to take maybe an episode to fine tune that S13 because it's just not working out for me right now. So, great car. I cannot wait to fine tune that. But for right now, though, we're going to have to take a pass on there. Um, I'm thinking about the GT86, to be honest with you. I mean, we have the BRZ. It's nice to see maybe a comparison or... See, I just wish I can see what you guys are screaming at right now, man. You guys are probably like, man, pick that slop, and I can't see a damn thing. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I'm debating about this GT86, but like I said, though, we already have the BRZ. So, I'm not even going to bother about that. We're going to save that for another day. You know what we could do, man? This Lancer. Um, unless it's all-wheel drive. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Car has been converted to rear-wheel drive. Reducing weight? Okay, that's a done deal. Okay, okay. Let's go with, uh, I don't even know what that is. Just go black, maybe? I can't see a damn thing. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to back and uh, get our track here. So we did Silver City National, Suzuka, Suba, all the damn iconic tracks right now. I miss them all, man. I'm not going to lie to you. And I'm really thinking about maybe just taking this thing down. Um, 
maybe even Urbandale. We could go... You know what? Let's just do either the Drift Park. You know what? I'm down for the Drift Playground. But not in wet, though, man. Not in wet. God damn it. There we go. All right. We're good to go, ladies and gentlemen. Lancer Evolution. Let's go, man. Here we go, guys. We are on the damn track. Ready to slide this thing. And I have not slid a Lancer in... Oh, my God. It's been a long time. And I know you guys right now are going to be real happy that I'm driving this thing. I'm pretty pumped as well, man. We have all working gauges on there. I can see a speedometer in our middle dash. Look at that. Oh, man. They have done some serious work on this mod. UK and Japanese flag. Let's go, baby. I'll represent them all, man. Here we go. See how she slides now what about my turbo rating though Ooh, we got that 90 percent turbo power band is very nice Ooh, she feels real good man second gear could use a little bit of work Ladies and gentlemen, have a look in my window right now. Oh, I can't see shit, man. The sun was brutal on that. God damn. I really like what they did with the windows as well, too. If you guys have a look at the windows, it actually looks like dirty windows. And it is dope, man. I love that. Combined with the sun, I mean, like I said, this mod is absolutely beautiful, man. It's stunning in every way. They did not cut any corners. And they just took their time, man. And I mean, that's... That's... Real classy right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's class, man. Wait, I can't see shit. Oh! I want to take this bitch online, man. That's what I want to do. Second gear red lines at 52 kilometers an hour. So... Before we put this thing away, this thing is a badass car, man. I'm actually, who I'm, huh, I'm excited to start driving this thing right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a hell of a lot more rear camera on this thing. It only has point negative three. So I'm gonna go with negative one. Toe is okay. I'm not really. There's nothing wrong with the toe. Tires. I mean, they're at 35. Oh, we get to damn do the gearing. Let's go. Oh my God. All right. So, oh, that's first gear, my bad. All right, so first gear we don't want to touch. Final drive is what we want to do here. So we're going to go ahead and lengthen out. Or do we want to lengthen it? No, we want to make it a little bit slower so we can maybe drift in the third, second to third gear range if possible. So let's go ahead and maybe do that. And then maybe, just a maybe, we'll be able to slide this thing perfectly. And we got that turbo 100%, man. Let's go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, look at the window right now. You see our damn tree right there, our air freshener, our smelly. It's not even moving with the physics, man. That's it. I'm subscribing from this damn thing. Mod is shit. I'm just kidding, man. This is absolutely dope mod. God damn, man. Here we go. That third gear now is money. Side, just like a boss. Let's go. Here we go. Try not to e-break as much as possible on that. Oh, yeah, man. Let's go. All right, we're gonna finish this off right here. Wow, this has gotta be probably my favorite car of the afternoon, man. Unbelievable. I just do this backwards here a little bit. Look at that Nike at the back, just do it. Oh my God. 
Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to conclude our four cars for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this, man. I had a blast trying out some of these USP mod vehicles. I got to say, this is my favorite. Absolutely, hands down, my favorite car. And really makes me want to go back into Forza and make some damn Lancers right now. I'm not even going to lie to you. Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Become a member of Team Slap today to start spinning some damn rubber with us as well, too. You guys can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box down below. Do not forget to pick up your SP mod. Huge, huge thanks to Chris and Paul for making this damn mod happen. Oh, my God. I'm in love with a set of Corsa once again. And I just cannot wait to start using these online, man. It's going to be absolutely insane. Ladies and gentlemen, jump on a slap train. I'm out. Welcome back guys.